And the political crisis in Sri Lanka is witnessing new twists and turns every single day. In the latest, 118 members of parliament are up in arms against President Matripala Sirisena and his decision to appoint Mahinda Rajapaksa as the Prime Minister. They have signed a resolution that was handed over to Speaker Karu Jai Surya. The resolution says that the President's move was unconstitutional. Last Friday, on the 26th of October, President Sirisena issued a notification making Rajapaksa the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. The MPs have also made it clear that they don't accept any of the decisions and appointments made by the President after he appointed Rajapaksa as the Prime Minister. Now remember, President Sirisena has already sworn in three cabinet ministers from Rajapaksa's camp along with four state ministers and deputy minister. Uh, this past struggle will be settled in parliament, but there is no clarity on when it will be allowed to reconvene. Now, several dates are doing the rounds right now. Now, ousted Prime Minister Vikram Isinghe had uh, tweeted yesterday that the parliament would be reconvened on the 5th of November. Now, shortly after which uh, the president dismissed, it's saying that no such decision had been made yet. And on Friday, the Speaker ordered the Parliament to convene next week, defying President Sirisena, who had originally shut the Parliament till the 16th of November. A speaker, Karu Jaya Surya, has called a session of Parliament on Wednesday next week. That is the 7th of November. Now, this announcement came after Rajapaksa's brother met sacked former Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe at the PM's official residence, Temple Trees, in Colombo. They haven't shared what transpired in that meeting. Vikram Isinghe maintains that he still has a majority and is confident of proving it in Parliament.